So let's talk about the show. How would you describe it? I would describe it. It is uh, a show about, oh, geez, can I start over? I always suck at this part. You describe it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it is the first comedy set in the DC Comics universe. It's basically a workplace comedy. There you go. That's good. Okay. That's good. Yeah. A workplace comedy set in the DC universe where there's superheroes on the outside of the world. This is the offices where we work. We create things like anti-venom for Joker laughing gas. So we're, we're giving people the real... P we, no, pro great, we protect the ordinary folk there against we go, there we go, the there we go, there we go. superheroes and the supervillains and the fallout from well, their perpetual battles. Why against right, the superheroes? Right. Exactly. Oh. You would think that it's, you would just... You, Battle fallout. Yeah, ah. superheroes and supervillains, when they start throwing you know, mailboxes at each other, which happens more often than you'd think. It's aggressive. Yeah, it's you very aggressive. You ordinary folk. Yeah, and you're, you've <laughs> just parked your Honda almost right there on the side. Of the, it could get a ding. All right, let's talk about who you both play. I play Vanderveer Wayne, who is Bruce Wayne's cousin. Uh, he is, you know, sort of that lesser cousin that calls you more often than you call them. Hey, I'm not talking about you. Because... <laughs> I play Jackie. I play Vans, long time, put upon, been there, done that, I'd over it. Suffering, assistant. suffering assistant. What did I say? You said put upon. You said all the things that meant suffering. Oh. I try to come up with different words. Right. Long yeah. suffering, beleaguered, put upon. There you go. Another question for you: Are we going to see Batman on the show, or flashbacks to you and your cousin? Or? Well, since he is my cousin, um, you know, his name comes up a lot. Batman is a good lurker, so he's always sort of lurking. You don't know if you're going to see him or not, but he's around. <laughs> That's hovering. That's a whole different thing. Well, we this, like that too. That's good. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that, yeah. Lurk. He lurks about. So will you okay. see him? You might catch a glimpse of him. Was that him? Or something that belonged to him. Yes, or something. Uh-oh. Oh, that's a nice little tease. Yeah, okay. yeah. Well, the whole DC world is open to us, uh, like a book, or should I say a comic book. Oh. I said it! Uh, it's, it's open. Uh, so we're able to, or the writers, the creators, are able to pull from there, uh, whatever works best for a script. Uh, I've been really happy to see some uh, some supervillains and heroes that aren't like the the first ones you take off the stack. They're deep cuts, baby. Yeah. Okay. These are deep, deep cuts yeah. that for people who don't know them, it'll be fun. And for people who do, they'll be like, finally, uh, my favorite supervillain, Dr. Drool <laughs> is finally making it to center stage. <laughs> uh, also, congrats on the success of Rogue One, too. I, I was totally in that. You yes. were. Yeah, I was you the were. I was another sci-fi thing. Yeah. I was K2SO. Yes, you were. Yes. Harder to keep secrets for Rogue One or Powerless? Kind of neck and neck there. Uh, Plot secrets. I'm terrible at it. <laughs> Ask me anything. <laughs> um, yeah. Good. I've, been, I've been okay. I've been okay. Yeah, no, good. yeah. I mean, for Star Wars, I was really worried um, that I would be the one who let stuff slip. Because the minute you said anything about that, it, Big trouble. it was immediately out. Right. But you didn't. But, but I good. didn't. I didn't. Everyone dies. <laughs> oh, you guys. <laughs>